Good morning. This is Aziza Belamudi from your favorite program, Algerian Youth Voices. Today's topic stems from Steve Dobbs' quotation. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. Well, I have always had some questions in my mind about this quotation. What if you have a dream and you work on it so hard that it turns out to be a source of frustration? What if you keep trying over and over, but you discover that your dream is still far away? Well, my colleague Jazil Zhani talked to a young man from Constantine who has this problem and brought us his story. Since he was a little boy, Ibrahim Bouchrit has had a dream to work as translator for the United Nations. I was watching our news and uh, it was a, there was a debate and one of the member of parliament was talking and I, I saw that his lips was moving differently and I told myself he, he could not speak in French. So I realized that it was not his voice, it was the voice of someone else someone who was, who was translating the speech. At that moment, Abraham told himself that he wanted that job. Because I love languages, so this is very challenging. This is, it needs uh, from you to be highly concentrated. But the journey to the United Nations was not easy. It was full of doubt. To go there, you have really you have to have a very good level, and they will not accept you unless you are from one of the uh, very prestigious schools. So he went to Paris to study at a famous school for interpretation, but he failed the exam and he was not admitted. Meanwhile, I wanted to, to go to a, a public university there in Paris. It's called Paris 3, uh, Sorbonne Nouvelle. And um, I studied there one year just to, uh, it's a preparation to enter to that school. But he failed one more time. He thought he could work and study at the same time. I couldn't support that and I couldn't work because I needed to concentrate on study. So it was really hard for me. It's tough to not reach a dream. So we can imagine how he was feeling. I felt that this is it. It is the end. I, I felt like all my world just crashed down. But Abraham couldn't stay silent forever. He didn't give up. He started to see things differently and found another path. The path was social activism. It's true that I didn't uh, achieve my dream, but I'm now trying to explore new ways and to have uh, new goals in my life like helping people uh, to have a positive impact in my society, to add something, to work with the teenagers, for example. Ibrahim now is a certified translator approved by the Ministry of Education and he has his own office. He has a couple of tips for people who are struggling to reach a dream. Tip number one, be realistic. You have to be realistic and change your plans since I cannot change the world. Tip number two, Appreciate what you have. I feel that I'm lucky a little bit because not all my comrades who studied with me are working in translation. So I am a little bit lucky to, to have my own office. Tip number three, build a network. Uh, enlarging your network, uh, I think you will one day you will be noticed and you, it's kind of branding you, yourself and your business. People will know that I am a translator so one day or another they will need my help and I will be very glad and very happy to, to help them. As the saying goes, success is a journey rather than destination. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. We hope that you learned something that will help you achieve your dreams. For Algerian Youth Voices, this is Jazil Zhani. Wow, that's very touching. Thank you, Ibrahim, for the story, and thank you, Jazil, too. This is Aziza Bin from Algerian Youth Voices. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.